time, and you're watching The Cookhouse. <laughs> Order up. Hey, hey we're, we're out, out of time. time. I'm James, I play guitar. I'm Tony, I play drums. I'm Justin, I play guitar. My name's Mike, I'm the vocalist. My name's Nick, I play bass, and I'm also a vocalist. So why it's No Boundaries is because I actually live in Arlington, Virginia. I fly down for tours, for recording, for photo shoots, for shows in the, in the Florida area. So we thought it'd be apropos that coming back from touring, we named something that would basically say that states that, from states away, it doesn't take, tear us apart from each other. Currently we're in the studio. We just finished recording our upcoming full-length album. Uh, we actually started this last year. Um, Right when the pandemic hit, we were in the middle of tour, and we had played uh, our second show on tour, and everything started closing down, and we decided it was a good idea to come back home. Uh, so we met up with Dylan over here at Close Quarters Studios, where we're at right now, and we decided to work on a new song. And we had a new song that we were working on. Uh, we planned it out to come over to the studio, and we recorded it, and we had such a blast throughout the whole process of making it that we decided to do... 10 more. So uh, it just became our full length overall. We had um, our buddy Shannon Tabor up in Maryland. He uh, did the art for the overall uh, count concept that we were doing for the band and the album, which is called No Boundaries. So yeah, so this band has uh, been around for like a few years and I've known Justin and Mike, um, man, probably now like Four years. I know Justin a little bit longer, but um, I came in uh, to fill in for bass, and I had a couple songs already that I've been writing and I demoed out, and I just kind of showed them, and kind of went from there, and we started to build a uh, profile of just demos, and all the guys in the band just started like writing songs, sending it over, um, and I just started to demoing them out from what they had, putting them together, and we started to save these songs in the file, and we just came back to him when, when we went on tour and we decided to go in the studio we were like, well, let's just go through the folder and start start picking out some songs that we feel like we want to go to. And it was kind of from there. I mean, we started to throw in like Husky Fight was a song that I've had for over 10 years. <laughs> and like, it's been through so many different, like, I mean, lyrically and all that stuff, it seems the same, but it evolved so much into the, it's just perfect now from where it is with this band. And uh, it's just crazy how it impacts us, at least lyrically and um, just how we jive with each other. Um, it's crazy, especially lyrically. It's just the process of how we do this is even hard for me to explain. Hey, don't let Mike <laughs> explain that one. I still have animal cheers, bud. Cheers. Um, well, I, I like how we collectively as a band, um, and I'm sure a band says, you know, it's a family, but with this, it really is like, um, like when we try to write, we don't try to write like, hey, this will sound cool in a song or this. It's it, we're very fortunate that like I, I think that there are some cool hooks in there. But I also feel like whenever like I'll go into writing a lyric or Nick goes into writing a lyric or, you know, everybody else will throw in stuff from time to time. It's it's things that we go through. Um, and there's even things like that I've written about, like from my perspective, I see what somebody in the band's going through or something that, you know, that I went through. So we just try to keep it real. Um, relatable and just really fun. We're playing the music and the type of music we grew up loving and listening to and I, I just think we're so fortunate to be playing original music, you know, now in our early 30s. Um, especially luckily, you know, James joins that club. He's the last one to join in here in a few <laughs> weeks, so we're looking forward to it. I think for the pandemic, some of the hardest things to do was because we're kind of far away from each other was we had to come up with new ways of being able to kind of write and send over, you know, just demo tracks. So we started a lot of it off doing uh, iPhone recordings and just recording stuff over it. And then we would send it over to Nick, our bassist, who would kind of put everything together and kind of just really build the overall foundation. And then he would send us the, the scratch tracks, we would record over them, we would demo over them. And we kind of started building out almost similar to kind of like the postal service. <coughs> But instead of using the postal service, we just used the internet. <laughs> I think we made the most of technology. Oh yeah, yeah. technology, definitely yeah. technology. 
that we relied on computers, helixes, line six, <laughs> voice memos, <laughs> voice, voice memos. Hey, yo, I wrote this um, course. Can you write to it? Like, yeah, it, it just it came down to relying on everyone's strengths in the band and what we all can do. Like, for example, like I said earlier, like I demo a lot, and so we used that opportunity to hone in on what we wanted to do for the album and demo it all out, get it all set up, and then when we went to come to the studio, we already had almost all the songs for the album demoed and we sent it to our producer, uh, Dylan, and um, it was just like, it was weird, it was a different process, because it was just crazy to be able to complete something, but not even be able to meet up. Yeah. Because it's like I may have demoed a lot of stuff out, but then it's like I sent it to them and they, they demoed or uh, they added leads or decided to change something. It's just a weird, it's weird seeing how the process of music now is digitally compared to where it was like in the early 2000s. Oh, for and sure. Obviously 90s and 80s and stuff like that. Not that I was around in the 80s, you know, before, you know, whatever, you know. I wouldn't really you don't get to make it past the infancy in the 80s. No. When life gives you lemons, you say fuck the lemons and bounce. You know, being that we we wrote and recorded this album uh, during the quarantine and during the pandemic, I I would want people to just remember the fact that you know it was done during a time of tremendous adversity, um, not just for us but for you know the world in general, and that you know sometimes you kind of have to maybe make the best of the situation. Uh, as was said earlier, we don't all live in the same spot. We live in different parts of the country, uh, some of us in different cities in Florida. And, you know, to, to have this album and to just be able to just meet up with each other is like, a, it's almost a miracle in and of itself. And, you know, we want people to, to recognize that, that not so much to be like, hey, you guys did it, but just to think like, you know, <clears throat> you can, I guess as corny as it sounds like accomplish whatever you you need to accomplish or whatever you'd like to accomplish. Uh, I, I definitely think a good takeaway from this, um, you know, just there's like the overall theme of it a lot, the name no boundaries is just every, and everything in, it means everything in the sense of that just short, the short two words, you know, no boundaries. It's, you know, we didn't let, you know, pandemic got in the way of our tour. We came here the close quarters you know we didn't stop we kept going we stayed motivated we could have easily you know been defeated and I'm, I'm proud of you know my brothers in this band and I'm, I'm fortunate to share share the stage with these guys and I can't wait to do it again but I think the overall feeling of it would be you know don't let anything hold you back um, just stay the course and if you really love it make it happen man which is the most important thing is like I think that we want is to, it's not just that, that we did an album it's, it's the fact that Keep doing what you love, no matter what you think is, you know, it's not easy. It's just like, don't stop because you feel like you, you failed. You know, we've been all in failures before and that's what makes us, because we're failures. We're the, we're the band of misfits, man. Seven string guitars. Yeah. <clears throat> seven string guitars. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> we, got, we got a lot actually uh, in the works. We actually filmed uh, two music videos for two of our songs on this upcoming full length. We have a lot, um, you know, a lot, lot in the fire, and we're excited to show everyone what we have been working on for the last over a year. Um, we put out a cover a few weeks ago of You Belong With Me by T Swift, and we're really proud of that cover. Uh, God, 10 years ago, Justin and I were working on a, a separate band. So we have a lot, a lot of things uh, that we're excited to show the world and our fans. Um, I think too with this album overall, it's it's a little bit of a different feel. You know, we we put out our EP last February in 2020, right before we went on tour, right before the pandemic hit. And I think going through and spending you know a lot more time together and really working on you know just overall songs, we kind of pulled from different feelings and attitudes. So where a lot of our songs on Mindset were kind of like that, you know, fast, heavy style of pop punk, we kind of went in that direction, but we started pulling a little bit more from our other influences, especially like Dangerous Summer and Senses Fail, and we kind of went for that kind of darker sound on a lot of, of these songs that we're working on. And you'll kind of hear that once the album comes out, you'll, you'll kind of get that, you know, really happy pop punk sense, but you'll also get a little bit more of that kind of, you know, almost 
emo style that we kind of grew up to um, throughout middle and high school. I think the album actually has a roller coaster of emotions. You'll you'll notice that throughout the album, it go from very happy to very sad, and we we dive into a lot of things like depression, anxiety, and mental health struggles. And that was something that we all struggled with during the, during this pandemic. And it shows in the lyrics, shows in the writing, um, and we've all been there. We've all hit rock bottom, and that's kind of a testament of this that you don't when you fall, you you get, you get back up with your friends and family and loved ones. But then we'll go from a serious song like that to a song about how much we fucking hate oatmeal. Man, I, I just gotta say, when when he says he's like at demos, like we, we have so much material that we've been able to sit on and as fun as this project's been, I think I can speak for all of us when we say we're you know, we're stoked to really, you know, get back into writing some new songs, but we can't wait for everybody to see what we we finish now and I I think you can keep expecting, you know, that nostalgic sound from us. And just those, you know, those real, fe- the real feelings that you get from the music collectively. And I'm sure you can know that. Yeah, we're not slowing down. We, we have music, but we want, we can't wait for everyone to hear what we have. And we have to, especially after, because it's going to be about 40. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's <laughs> not even 40. kidding. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's crazy. It's weird, but definitely stoked for everyone to hear it. And hopefully it's soon. Fender. Fender. <laughs> no. This whole album Actually, was recorded on a Stratocaster. On. Balliger. Balliger. Balliger is the way Sorry. to go. Yeah. That wasn't See. one of the choices. We're no, not going to do that. But we have to. We have We're to No, Balliger. that's not the game. That's not the game. <laughs> okay. Balliger. Gibson. Balliger. Balliger. Gibson. Fender. 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 Dog. Sorry. <laughs> cat not, dog. I'm not a, ki- a cat lady. But I have a Sheba. We have Shebas. Yeah, they're basically they're, they're cats. Like, they're, cat, they're cats, so kind I have of. A, I have a pit bull. Dog. Dog, 100%. Vine. Vine. 100% vine. 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 Please bring vine, vine back. Vine energy. Do it for the vine. Hi, welcome to Chili. I ain't going to do it. For Shavaka, do. For Shavaka, do. I can, I literally. I mean, me mom's car. I mean, me mom's car. What's my favorite one? Um. Gosh. Look at all those chickens. Look at all those chickens. Or, um... There's Water Malone. Ah, water up. Malone inside, inside water, water Malone. Water Malone. <laughs> Fuck your chicken strips. Fuck your chicken strips. Yeah. Fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Vine for sure. You can say TikTok if you like it. Oh, no, I don't, I don't have a TikTok. I, dude, Vine was my favorite just because I could do, uh... You could, Riff Raff alone dude, was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> the shark? So, uh, oh, yeah. That guy, yeah. The riff of mine. <laughs> Curly frat pants. Yeah. Podcast. Bar Breakdown Podcast. <laughs> Bar Down Breakdown Podcast. You got a podcast, oh, you got music. hockey, Come you got on. music, like, it's all three. No, you know what? Oh it God. depends. Honestly, like, oh, shit. there's some days <laughs> where I'll be coming home from work and work. Making my way to downtown. Shut up. No, but there's some days where... <laughs> Like, <laughs> you'll be coming home from whatever. You gotta save like, that. You gotta save that BDE real quick. No, like work, like straight up, like kicked your ass, and you don't want to listen to anything, but you also don't want to like drive in silence. There's a hair. So it doesn't matter. Leave it alone. It's his it's hair. Good. So it's, yeah, it's you don't want to drive in silence. So maybe a podcast is a little bit more appropriate. But come on, like it's music is. That's like saying, what do you prefer to walk or run? It depends. Am I in trouble? Walk. Maybe I want to run. Past. The past, dude. The future. What? For what? For what? Why, dude? You want to live in the past? Yeah. Like, yeah. There's no AC. There's no. AC stuff. was brought to Florida in nah, 1921. Look, look let's, hang on. You're we're, we're t- the past can be anywhere from like the 90s, 80s. Like, like we're not. Uh, there was AC in the 50s and 60s. Look, look I want to live in the future, so I can look at the past and say, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, I guess. That's fair. But. Global warming. What if you? What if the future? Warming? No, the future. In my future, there's no global warming. <laughs> you can't determine that. In my future, in my- <laughs> <laughs> some fallout ash. <laughs> no, everything's. There's the blue sky and an atom bomb. And we have nuclear energy, but it's safe. Everything <laughs> is Topo Chico. <laughs> Waters Topo Chico. <laughs> this comes out carbonated. Nestle doesn't that. exist anymore. So. What? I got beef with Nessie about water, but they're chocolate. Mayweather never lost his zero in my future, so mm. we'll see. We live 
in the future, in the past, and in the now. So I take it all. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my uh, fellow vocalist here. I gotta agree with that. Without my without car, car. Hey, without my inter down. without yeah. internet, without internet, straight up, I'd rather just go to the beach than like look at it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go a month without the car because I can be like a homebody. So I'm gonna go with I don't know. I'd love to go without the internet. I'm also okay not leaving my house. So I'm gonna say without internet because my job consists of working on the internet every day. So I would like to take a break from it if I could. I'm also gonna change my answer now that he said that, and I'm gonna say the internet for the same exact reason. Mahalo. Oh, all right, cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my bad. Sorry, I parked the blind on this side. <laughs> Define major label. <laughs> we would actually love to be signed to uh, anyone, really. Anyone who wants. Us. Yeah. <laughs> Just anyone. Anyone. Wants us. anyone. We like paying stuff with OPM. I want to get signed to Fania. <laughs> Fania Records. What's Fania? The like the greatest salsa record in history, like Hector Lavo and Celia Cruz and Johnny Pacheco. Azúcar. And, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Like, Usted abuso, you know. Yo soy el cantante. The you one time. You don't know song. those songs? I grew up in Miami. I know. Yeah. And dude, and you don't know those songs? <laughs> <laughs> the Cubans invented salsa. Like, yeah, that's true. Right? I don't know. Let's fact check that. Anyway. <laughs> Both you and I have a lot of punk rock roots. I'm going to say yeah. independent. Independent. Uh, I mean, I take if, if a major label would like us the way we are, then hell yeah. We'll definitely take it. You know, we're not going to say no, but the whole point of this band, I think, is to keep to our roots and just like not have to worry about having to bend please, the narrative yeah, yeah. You bend the narrative and please people for really no reason when you're writing music and you should be taken for who you are as an artist for anybody else to love what you do you have to oh independence day nah let's get I with the zombies know. bro we'll i'll murk yeah. those zombies world war z do you yeah. do you know how effed up those those zombies are? Yeah, I played the video game. Why would you play? I don't care, man. Game? I I feel like I would want to ask the alien questions, but what can I ask a zombie? Well, Jeff Goldblum. Like, are you so not hungry right now? Can you not eat me? <laughs> it's like talking to grandpa. And the alien, I'm like, yo. So what's up with the Andromeda Galaxy, yo? That's what I would ask. Aliens, because I love aliens, so I'll take it. Zombie, like, it's just too boring for me. Like, walking mm. Dead, all that stuff, yeah. Yeah, you know what, look, I'd rather be abducted by an alien to have a chance to go up into space and then be like, oh, we're gonna probe you or something. Not that I want to be probed, but I'm just saying. Oh, um, yes, 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 I do. I want to be probed, I'm sorry. No, the, p the point is, it's like, wouldn't you want the opportunity to get out and like, they can tell you something or go to another planet or you just you have a capability it doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna come here and strike you down like a zombie that's gonna bite you and eat you and you turn into a mindless idiot yeah which half of our world is like that anyway so dude maybe we've been misinterpreting aliens maybe they are trying to come in peace you know we are aliens dude there Slice. you go man it's like kills himself. 10 different instruments language I, really I already started good, playing guitar, so. It's a really good question. I would love to understand what, what kind of. I, I'm, I can play multiple instruments and I can speak multiple languages. So. I don't so, know. I don't know where I should go with this one. Music, music in itself is a language. Yeah. Cause you can transcend borders, so it's kind of like the same question. I choose both. Yeah. Why not? Wait, no. you go one or the other. No. Get one or the other. That's not the game. <laughs> you, you just broke the rules. I make the rules. <laughs> Language. language, the language of language. music. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go with instruments here. Yeah, I'm um, gonna say instruments too, cause yeah. like I suck at learning anything else besides instruments, so yeah. that's my language. There you go. Yeah. Gator. I'll Wait, where's the environment? <laughs> no, no, we're in Florida. We know the environment. I don't know, man. Those gators have a one-up. If they pull you in there and they death roll, Bruh, them, dude, look. I see the gator, and all you gotta run is in a serpentine fashion. That's I it. I mean, with bears, you gotta act dead. 
Nah, but what if the bear is like really angry and he'll still claw you? Are we talking about Yogi Bear? Dude, there's no way that a gator's gonna catch me. We gotta run zigzag so you can run 25 miles an hour in a straight line. I don't care. There's not gonna catch me. I, I would go with bear. I'll do the Happy Gilmore. I'll rip out his eye. But no. <laughs> but then take your hand. The gator though. I'll rip out the other eye with my other hand. <laughs> yeah. Bear. He took my hand, so I took his <laughs> You know what? I'm going to go with Gator just because I watched a lot of Wild Boys and I know how to not get eaten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that prepare you for that. You get both options in, in Central Florida for sure. So, you get the... I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to go with a Gator. Um, just because once a bear stands up, I think that's probably about it. Um... Although it might be over quicker with the bear if I'm gonna go out. I don't know why I thought you said that when a gator stands up and I know you said bear. <laughs> vision a gator just standing up like a bear. Trying to know. I would probably say a gator for sure since I've lived here my entire life and it's just kind of feel like. Zigzags. Know, I've gone to gator land. <laughs> movie. Oh, movie. Man. Movie, man. I'm a movie, then a book, and then I decide which is better, which is normally the book. What's the last thing you've movie. read besides a picture book? We're Spot. <laughs> <laughs> Spot's over there. I don't think you own a book. I literally have a bookshelf of just wear Spot books. <laughs> Different Mo editions. <laughs> movie. I have a bookshelf of movies. Yeah, same. And <laughs> records. Uh, definitely movie. Sorry. I have a Dr. Seuss collection. Yeah. The movies or the books? Both. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anima no Matapa. Uh... <laughs> 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 uh, I actually, that's a tough one. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so like, it could be either or. But I do like books first sometimes because it depends. Like, I, I don't know, man, that's a hard one. But yes, books because of the fact that I feel I can get more out of it. And then when I see a movie, even though the movie may be different than a book, I kind of can now, I have more of a, a connection with the characters when it comes down to that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So like... It's like that, because I mean, I've had that experience with Harry Potter and Star Wars oh, so yeah. far, so it's just, it's a lot more fulfilling. I enjoy reading for sure, but I'm definitely more of like a movie person because my attention span is garbage, so um, <laughs> I can pay attention to a movie a lot better. Um, I'm a big Harry Potter nerd too, and you know, and Star Wars fan and everything with, with all the novels, you know, it's, it's hard not to, because those are easy things that you can like, you know, it's. Our childhood you know that's it's it's yeah. awesome that you get to connect extra dots and notice things like in the books that you might have not noticed before but um if i'm if i'm talking like i just want to like sit down relax chill i'm i'm gonna throw on um i gotta throw on prisoner azkaban and um have a heck of a night it's one of those things where it's just you know don't take it offense book i say book i also go by audiobook because oh that's true too. i count those that's how yeah so audiobook which, by the way, shameless plug there, Audible, because it's free. Yay. I'm going to go with City Boy. City I've Boy. Never, yeah. Born and raised South Detroit. City, I just, it's just so much. God, you're just, so Caucasian with the journey quotes. <laughs> no, stop believing. <laughs> right, do you have cheap perfume? I do. And smell of wine? I do. <laughs> City. 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 But the city that's close to the country, not like, you know. Wait, are we talking about Orlando the city or are we talking like, uh, could we pick a city? <laughs> uh, Would you rather live in a city or in the country? Well, hang on. So I live in Arlington, Virginia. So Arlington is like in the city. You're, you're like a city. 10 minutes from DC. It's a city, dude. But, but you can go in the country like within no the country. Yes, there is. You don't live, the you don't live in. Factory that's not the country. <laughs> in Maryland's right there. That's like two hour drive. All right, West Virginia is 45 minutes from my house, okay? Like, that's literally, that's like banjo. But That's like me. West Virginia is 16 hours from my house. What does that have to do with living in a city or a country? What, what is that? Would you rather like live in one or the other? I don't know. I think the city. 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 Life ain't nothing but a funny, funny riddle. Thank God I'm a country boy. I'm kidding, no, but um, I'm going to say city. I grew up outside of D.C., so I was raised in, like, southern Maryland where um, the Amish is everywhere down there. And um, it's kind of like a culture shock to be like, oh, like city's right here. There's also no self service right here. 
Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go city. I, I love Orlando. I love the city, and I love that you can go either way, and you still get that bit of country there. Um, I, I can't be in Hills Have Eyes. See, this is a tough one for me because like I was pretty much born and raised in the countryside, mm -hmm. like St. Cloud, Florida. St. Cloud, Florida. Uh, Check it yeah, out. So, mm -hmm. but I do like the city when I moved up there, but I also don't like the city. So, I like the in between, the city and the you know the country. I guess it's that with the suburbs, but I don't like. Yeah, yeah. I just like to live in a house. There you go. Like that's not in downtown. There you go. You can. But close. Yeah. There you I'm go. I'm sorry. That's not what you want to hear, but. That's, that's just life. practical. Sorry about the John Denver thing to start that. So we'll move on. <laughs> boat. Boat. Airplane. Boat. You I, went on a boat like every day last summer. I did. I did. And, I, 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 and I got seasick a lot. Plus, T Pain is on a boat. He was um, on a lake. He wasn't seasick. I was on an ocean. I was literally um, in Ocean City, Maryland. It's literally off the coast yeah, of, it's of the really United City. States. Is it like that city from Star Wars where they live on the ocean? Bespin? That's, no, that's not Bespin. Are you stupid? <laughs> Camino. Camino. Yes. Naboo. Yeah, I'm going I'm to do an audible. I'm going to change the, the change boat. No, no, no. Because I, I am very much a boat rat. And yeah. Boat. Boat. I'll, I mean, boat's always, that's always neat. Like, oh, let's go on, uh, let's go on, let's go on the water, man. Yeah, I love water. I'm a, I'm a water fiend, pretty much. Like, water is my life. I feel like I can, if I'm sick, I feel like if I just go in water, it's like a back the tank for me. For anyone with Star Wars, that's pretty much heals you. I really got nerdy there. I'm sorry. Dude, I just don't want to be stuck on that fart tube in the sky. So. Yeah. I think we're uh, out of time. Hey, where you go? <laughs> All right. We're out of time. We're out of time. This is the cookhouse. And we're out of time. All Check right. out our latest songs on Spotify, Deezer. Follow us on whatever you use to follow us on. <laughs> out of uh, time. Talk to us. Message us. Everything's at Out of Time FL. Plenty of time to message us. Yeah, we have nothing to do, so please just talk to us. We we're don't care. What? What? Thanks for watching. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs>